So, welcome back to Weekly Words. Mm, let's go with this week's team. I don't know what it is yet. It is French companies. Orange. Orange is a telephone company, and service provider, internet and television provider. Orange. You can say it like this. Je suis abonné chez Orange. I have a subscription at Orange, which is a great service, by the way. Uh, Vivendi. What's this? <laughs> What's this? I heard the name, but I have no idea what they do. If you know about Vivendi, leave us a comment below. <laughs> L'Oréal. Which is for hair. L'Oréal, parce que je le vaux bien. Because I'm worth it. Yeah, that's the slogan of L'Oréal. We make shampoo and beauty products. Next one, Michelin. Is the little fat guy. Uh, Michelin makes uh, tires, mainly. And then they converted to making maps. You can have them on the internet in via Michelin.com. It's a white bubble guy. Michelin also rates and gives stars to restaurants. Le guide Michelin a donné trois étoiles à ce restaurant. The Michelin guy gave three stars to this restaurant. Next one. Perrier. <laughs> Perrier is the bubbly water. Uh, you can visit the source, uh, the source of the in the mountain in France and it's bottled water and has a fancy shape. And fancy song in the advertising as well. J'aime l'eau de Perrier. I like Perrier water. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, is that French? Louis Vuitton is a famous fashion brand. It makes bags, it makes clothes. Je m'habille en Louis Vuitton. Or not. I dress myself with Louis Vuitton. Being sick, mais you don't want to be sick in France. You don't want to be sick at all. Then, being sick, let's start. First word is, malade. Sick. Je suis malade. <laughs> it's a French song. <laughs> Je suis malade. I am sick. Je suis malade. Complètement malade. I'm sick. I am completely sick. <laughs> so, malade. Tu. Tu is a cow. Cow. Cough. <laughs> <coughs> This is too, right? <clears throat> Quand j'ai un rhume, j'ai de la toux. When I got a cold, I got a cough. Is that how you say it? Cough. <laughs> Cow. Next one is vomissement. Vomiting. Nice. I didn't eat yet. I drank too much, so I start vomiting. <laughs> j'ai trop bu, alors j'ai vomi. A vomiting? Long time ago, so... <laughs> Next one is... Éternuer. Sneeze. It's a sneeze. Les allergies me font éternuer. Allergies make me sneeze. Gueule de bois. I told you I drank too much already. Hangover. <laughs> Gueule de bois. So since I got to vomit before, no, I have hangover, right? <laughs> so, comme j'ai trop bu et j'ai vomi, j'ai la gueule de bois. Since I drank too much and vomit, I have a hangover. Nice. <laughs> These are French cities. Uh, Cannes. Uh, Cannes is very famous for the film festival, right? Simple sentence would be... Uh, le festival de Cannes a lieu en été. The film festival of Cannes is in summer. And you get to see a lot of celebrities and things like that. I guess because I never went there. Next one. Paris. So, everyone knows Paris, I think. <laughs> Paris is the capital. You have Eiffel Tower and fancy stuff, museum. Paris, la plus belle ville du monde. Paris is the most beautiful city in the world. They say, as well. I find it smelly, but you can sing whatever you want. Uh, Marseille. Marseille is in the south and it's near Italy. It's a harbour kind of city. And it's kind of dangerous as well, but it's kind of fun also. <laughs> La ville de Marseille est un port. La, uh, Marseille is a harbour. Right. Next one is Nice. It's written as nice, and it's also a nice city. <laughs> so it's also in the south, so it's very sunny, and you have fancy food and fish, stuff like this. La ville de Nice est ensoleillée. Nice is sunny. <laughs> Shall I say it more seriously? It's Montpellier, hey, I came from here. Uh, Montpellier, so this one is in the south, near the Mediterranean Sea. You have the mountain on the side, and the sea on the other side. And it's super nice. It's a student city. And so a lot of young people. You have plenty of parties and things like that. Universities. 
and I really like it. So Montpellier est une ville estudiantine. Montpellier is a student city. Famous French food. Yes, my favorite thing, food. So first one is camembert. <laughs> camembert is smelly. You know that cheese? <laughs> it's a round white cheese. It's all gooey inside. <laughs> Je n'aime pas le camembert. I don't like camembert. But a lot of French people do. They eat it on the baguette bread, you know. <laughs> Next one, croissant. Ah, this one I like. Croissant is a croissant. You eat it for breakfast and there are many different types with chocolate inside or butter or margarine, things like that. Au petit déjeuner, je mange des croissants. I eat croissants for breakfast. Yummy. Escargot. This isn't supposed to be a food. <laughs> well, for French people it is. Snails, you know, they eat that here. So you just steam them and put them on the fire and they squee. Poor thingy, and you eat them alive. It's cruel to eat snails. Manger des escargots, c'est cruel. I think. Fondu. Hey, cheese again. So fondu is a big pot where you melt cheese and then you pick your little piece of bread and go inside, hop. The north, near Germany, and stuff like that. So on mange la fondue le plus souvent en hiver. We eat fondue usually in winter because it warms you up and you eat this with the whole family, so for holiday occasions, things like that. Next one is ratatouille. There was a Disney movie like that, right? So ratatouille is a lot of vegetables mixed together and in sauce. And you can eat it with rice or you can add meat if you want. Il y a beaucoup de légumes dans la ratatouille. There are a lot of vegetables in ratatouille. Rooms in your house. My house only got one room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cuisine, kitchen. No, I don't have that either. You cook meals in the kitchen. On prépare les repas dans la cuisine. So, closet, placard. Mm. I put my clothes in the closet. Je mets mes vêtements dans mon placard. Which is false. Yeah. Salle de séjour. Living room. And if you want to be more simple and more French specific and use everyday word, you can say just salon. There is a big sofa in my living room. Il y a un grand sofa dans mon salon. Toilette. Bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. J'ai besoin d'aller aux toilettes. Next, quick. <laughs> Chambre. Bedroom. I want a big bedroom. Je voudrais une grande chambre. With a big bed. Avec un grand lit. French tourist attractions. Hmm. I don't go out. I don't know those. First word is... La cathédrale de Notre-Dame de Paris. Notre Dame Cathedral, which is also in Paris, and it's the biggest one in France. It's pretty old, and you have nice artwork inside, and all the window artwork as well. I don't know how you call this in English. Window artwork. Stained glass. You have really pretty stained glass. <laughs> On peut écouter l'orgue à la cathédrale de Notre Dame de Paris le dimanche. So you can listen to the organ at Notre Dame Cathedral on Sunday. It's very famous pianist here doing the organ. Next one. <laughs> Musée du Louvre. So Louvre Museum, which is also in Paris, and it's uh, famous for its pyramid shape. And you can also see Leonardo da Vinci and La Joconde inside. Also, they have a nice Egyptology place so you can visit. Ma section préférée au Musée du Louvre, c'est l'Egyptologie. My favorite part in Louvre Museum is Egyptology, which is really super interesting. Parc du Château de Versailles. Gardens of Versailles. There was a place where the king lived in, and really beautiful gardens with fountains and fancy architecture. And you can visit the castle as well, which is pretty beautiful. The best time to visit Gardens of Versailles is in summer. So, le meilleur moment pour visiter le parc du château de Versailles, c'est en été. Because otherwise it may be raining and not so enjoyable and in summer they put the fountains out and it's pretty. Mont Saint-Michel. So, this is in Bretagne. And if you know Bretagne, it's a shape like this and it's at the end. And it's an old abbey built on a rock on a kind of island. So when the sea rises, you can't access it except by boat. And when you go down, you can access it by foot. And you have to be careful with the sea because it's a bit dangerous over here. Le Mont Saint-Michel est une abbaye. 
Mount Saint-Michel is an abbey. Tour Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. It's red and white. No, it's not. So this was made for the international exposition and it's a symbol of Paris as well. La Tour Eiffel est en forme de A parce que c'est la première lettre du mot amour. So Eiffel Tower is in the shape of the L letter because it's the first letter of the word love in French, amour. So they have the same shape. Direction words. Okay, let's go. First word is dehors. Dehors is outside. So today we are outside. Easy. Yes, today we are outside. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes dehors. Next one is droite. You're right. What can you do on the right? Turn. Man, I'm forgetting words, sorry. Man, it's not firework. It's to think with red light. Ah, at the next light. At the next light, turn right. Au prochain feu, tournez à droite. Kind of. East. Est. Almost the same pronunciation. So, est is also on the right. Japan is on the east. Le Japon est à l'est. Maha. Donc, sunrise from the east. Le soleil se lève à l'est. If I'm not mistaken. Maha. So, gauche is left. Left. Left side. Uh, so, there is a table on my left. Il y a une table à ma gauche. Gauche, left. Next one is north. Le nord. So north is le nord. Uh, there are igloos on the north. Il y a des igloos au nord. It's raining on the north. Il pleut au nord. Especially in France. If you go to the north, it's like always raining and always grey. Well, today is kind of sunny. But... Nah. Musical instrument. Let's go. First one is trompette. Trompette is a trumpet. So what can you do with a trumpet? You can blow it. I don't play the trumpet because it's so noisy. Je ne joue pas de la trompette parce que c'est vraiment bruyant. Guitar. Guitar. Almost the same pronunciation again. So easy again. Playing the guitar on the beach. Jouer de la guitare sur la plage. Because it's summer. <laughs> Enjoy. Next one is triangle. Triangle. <laughs> Seriously, we choose this. Ping. I'm the number one triangle in the orchestra. Je suis le premier triangle de l'orchestre. Hmm, that's the best position. How many tones are there in a triangle? Combien y a-t-il de tons avec un triangle? Let me know, because I'm curious about it. Piano. Everyone at some point learned to play the piano. Yeah, a piano is expensive. Un piano, c'est cher. Just play the triangle, seriously. Saxophone. A sax. So saxophone is from Belgium. Le saxophone vient de Belgique. It was invented by Mr. Sax. And in Belgium, they also speak French. Bugs and insects. Ew. <laughs> When you are going to see a bug, you won't be screaming in French. Oh mon dieu, un cafard! Let's go. <laughs> anyway. First one is abeille. Abeille is a bee. Bees make honey. Les abeilles font du miel. Honey. Next one is araignée. Spider. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, which in French is l'homme araigné, l'homme araigné. Doesn't sound that great in French, right? <laughs> There is a spider on the ceiling. Il y a une araignée au plafond. When you say this about someone, it means he is a bit crazy in the head. Il a une araignée au plafond. He's got a spider on the ceiling. Next one is chenille, caterpillar. La chenille mange des feuilles. The caterpillar eats leaves. Next one is Fourmi. Fourmi is an ant. There is this famous book series, The Ants. So in French is Les Fourmis, by famous author Bernard Weber. Les Fourmis vivent sous la terre. Ants live underground. Next one is Moustique. Mosquito. Let the mosquito walk. No. I'm woken up by the mosquitoes at night. Les moustiques me réveillent la nuit. They come here in your ear goes and then you get beaten. Mosquito repellent. Anti-moustique. You want to buy one of these if you come visit friends in summer, so just ask the store for anti-moustique and you will, you will have a way better vacation. Medicine. Ew. In French is medicine. First, antibiotic. 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 
there's this ad in France which goes antibiotics are not automatic because you don't have to eat them all the time donc les antibiotiques c'est pas automatique <laughs> not everyone likes antibiotics tout le monde n'aime pas les antibiotiques next one médicaments medicine I'm so depressed I need medicine please get me out of here please I don't take medicine je ne prends pas de médicaments because I'm healthy and I do sport and I don't drink <laughs> next is ordonnance prescription the doctor gave me a prescription ou le docteur m'a fait une ordonnance don't forget to take your prescription to go to the pharmacy and get your medicine N'oubliez pas de prendre votre ordonnance à la pharmacie pour avoir vos médicaments. This one is a bit long, but you get all the words of this lesson. So yeah, it's revision time. Next is sirop pour la toux. Sirop pour la toux is cough syrup. You know I don't like that word, cough. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Cough. Cough. <coughs> syrup. This one. Donc sirop pour la toux. When I get a sore throat, I take cough syrup. Quand j'ai mal à la gorge, je prends du sirop pour la toux. Vaccine, which in French is vaccin. I didn't get my vaccine this year. Je n'ai pas fait mon vaccin cette année. Such a bad kitty. I'm scared of vaccine needles. J'ai peur des aiguilles pour le vaccin. Hygiene action. Hygiene. First one is... Peigner. To comb, to comb your hair, so, peigner les cheveux. This is a comb with something missing and be like. Next one. Se baigner, to base. <laughs> Se baigner, to base. Hot, hot. <laughs> I like to base when it's hot outside. J'aime me baigner quand il fait chaud dehors. Next one. Se brosser, to brush, to brush. We'll go with se brosser les dents, to brush your teeth. You can also brush your hair. Se brosser les cheveux. Yeah, let's take the toothbrush. To brush. We like. Next one. Se gargariser. To gargle. <laughs> That's silly. Oh. Fancy cup. To gargle is to. Mm. 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 And there, you are done brushing and being allergenic. So, se gargariser. Après cette brosser les dents, je me gargarise. After brushing my teeth, I gargle. Next one, se laver, to wash, so to wash yourself is se laver, that's it. Et se laver les dents, which is to wash your teeth, or se brosser les dents, to brush your teeth. Se laver les mains, to wash your hands. Yeah. Okay. Home tool, first one is boîte à outils. Boîte à outils is a toolbox. Je mets mes outils dans ma boîte à outils. I put my tool in my toolbox. Next. Marteau, hammer. <laughs> the hammer is in the toolbox. Le marteau est dans la boîte à outils. Hammer is a marteau. Back, 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 back. You can say this for someone crazy in the head. Il est marteau. I put a nail in the wall with the hammer. J'ai mis un clou dans le mur à l'aide du marteau. Next one is... Mettre ruban. Tape measure. Usually you measure children with tape measure. To measure your height with tape measure. Mesurer sa taille avec un mètre ruban. To take measure with a tape measure. Prendre des mesures avec un mètre ruban. Tournevis. Screwdriver. And to screw stuff with a screwdriver. Visser des choses avec un tournevis. You can do anything else with a tournevis. Next is... Vis. A screw. To screw a screw with screwdriver. Visser une vis avec un tournevis. You got that? <laughs> next. No, not next. Next simple sentence. I got a box of screw. J'ai une boîte de vis. Birds. I don't know anything about birds, except that they fly. Uh... Birds. Les oiseaux. First bird is cock. Cock is a rooster. I like to eat roosters. J'aime manger du cock. No, you don't. Le coq chante tous les matins. The rooster sings every morning. And wakes me up and annoys me. Next. Corbeau. A crow. Which is also a music band. Oh, the crows are black. <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe wrote a book named The Crow. Edgar Allan Poe a écrit un livre qui s'appelle Le Corbeau. Read it, it's short. Next, signe. A swan. 
or like this. You can find swans in park in France and they just will attack you randomly. So the swan is swimming in the pound. Le cygne nage dans la mare. Next one is mouette, a seagull. <coughs> I used to live on a boat and there were seagulls all over the place and they will wake you up again like roosters, but roosters of the sea. And they will steal stuff and poop on your tea and on the deck. Ugh, seagulls are nice. Les mouettes, c'est chouette. No, chouette is also a bird. Poulet, chicken. My favorite chicken is fried chicken. Mon poulet préféré, c'est le poulet frit. <laughs> Yeah, everything fried is good again. You want to order this, do you? I used to have two chicken in the backyard. I could have bring you one. Mais you can find chicken in farms. <laughs> On peut trouver des poulets dans les fermes. Studying a language. This is what you are actually doing, right? Étudier une langue. Let's go with the first one. Ah, adjective. Adjective. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Study grammar properly. What kind of sentence can you do with adjective? Quel genre de phrase pouvez-vous faire avec adjectif? Seriously. Next one is apprendre. Learn. To learn is apprendre. To learn a language, apprendre une langue. Or it's good to learn. C'est bien d'apprendre. Next. Étudier. Study. I love to study. J'aime étudier. Or studying French is fun. Étudier le français c'est fun. I study French. J'étudie le français. Language. Langue. I work at innovative language. Je travaille à les langues innovatives. <laughs> It doesn't work in French, right? In French, uh, langue is also the word for tongue. Learning a new language is fun. Apprendre une nouvelle langue est fun. I love learning languages. <laughs> J'adore apprendre des langues. Next. Répéter. Répéter is to repeat. Pourriez-vous répéter? Can you repeat? And if you want to be polite, Pouvez-vous répéter, s'il vous plaît? Can you repeat, please? So again, when you speak with French people and they speak really fast, you just ask. Pouvez-vous répéter? Crossing borders. I like crossing borders. Traverser les frontières? First. Is... Eh? Douane. Customs. You don't like them customs. To enter a country, you need to go through customs. Pour entrer dans un pays, vous devez passer par la douane. Ah! How do you say? Don't bring anything the custom could take away from you. N'emportez rien avec vous que la douane pourrait vous prendre. Next. Formulaire de déclaration. Declaration form. Please fill the declaration form. S'il vous plaît, remplissez le formulaire de déclaration. You fill the declaration form, give it to the customs, enter the country. Remplir le formulaire de déclaration, le donner à la douane et rentrer dans le pays. Next. Nationalité. Nationality. Nationality. What's your nationality? Quelle est votre nationalité? My nationality is French. Ma nationalité est française. So you just replace French with your own nationality. Next. Passeport. Passport. Almost the same. So easy. I like having many stamps in my passport. J'aime avoir plein de tampons dans mon passeport. So when you enter in France, you give your passport, you get a fancy stamp. And you can show it to everyone after this. Next. Visa. Which in French is visa. What? Postuler pour un visa. To apply for a visa. Or getting a visa is complicated. Avoir un visa, c'est compliqué. So much paperwork. And patience. Tourism. Le tourisme. Let's go and visit stuff. Tourist. 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 Bingo. <laughs> In front of the monument. French tourists are noisy. Les touristes français sont bruyants. You can spot them miles away from anywhere because they are the ones screaming. <laughs> Faire le touriste. Being all touristy. Clicking <laughs> and photographing stuff and being loud. Okay, next one. <laughs> Guide touristique. Guidebook. I always take a guidebook when going to another country. Je prends toujours mon guide touristique quand je vais visiter un nouveau pays. A tour guide. Explaining stuff to you, it will also be a guide touristique. C'est recommandé dans le guide touristique. It's recommended in the guidebook. Next one. <laughs> visiter. To tour. My kitchen. You should tour my kitchen. It's so awesome and delicious. 
Vous devriez visiter ma cuisine. Il y a plein de choses délicieuses dedans. <rire> I can cook, but I don't want to. To tour Paris. Visitez Paris. Go on, it will be fun. And pretty. I'm touring the museum. <rire> tan, 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 I'm going to the museum. Yeah. Église. Church. To go to church. Allez à l'église. On Sunday, usually. Do you tour this? <rire> There are a lot of miracles in Lourdes Church. Il y a beaucoup de miracles à l'église de Lourdes. Next. Itinéraire. Itinerary. Itinerary. To decide on the itinerary. Décider d'un itinéraire. Or to plan an itinerary. Planifier un itinéraire. Geography. I suck so much at geography. Plage. Beach. Going to the beach. Allez à la plage. Ah, vamos à la playa. La, la, la. We going to the beach. La, 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 la. Nous allons à la plage. La, 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 la. But it's not a French song, so let's drop it. Forêt. Forest. Mushroom picking in the forest. Ramasser les champignons en forêt. We do this around September, October when it's really humid and mushrooms start to grow and you just go and pick up mushrooms. Next one. Montagne. Mountain. We have many mountains in France. We have the... Central Mountain, le massif central, which is around the middle. And we have the Alps and the Pyrenees. To ski in the mountain, faire du ski en montagne. You have really good snow in France in winter. Mountain hiking, une balade en montagne. Rivière, river. Cry me a river. Pleure-moi une rivière. <laughs> to fish in the river, pêcher dans la rivière. You can get good fish from French rivers. Next. Île, island. We have many islands in France. Nous avons beaucoup d'îles en France. I want a private island. Je veux une île privée. I know it's expensive, but maybe one day I get one. Lee Island. Enjoy and relax and have fried food. Paradise Island. Une île paradisiaque. Health concern. Great. This sounds so funny. Thank you. <laughs> I went to the hospital on Monday. It was funny. I got sick. <laughs> I'm okay now. Health concern. Les problèmes de santé. Something you don't want to have, but just learn about it just in case you go to France and be dizzy. First one is headache. Mal de tête. Well, this is a rather okay problem. Just take an aspirin. I drank too much and got a headache. J'ai trop bu et j'ai mal à la tête. I bumped my head and now I have a headache. Je me suis cogné la tête et maintenant j'ai mal à la tête. Yeah, except drinking and bumping, I don't know why you will have headache. Or my boss is giving me a headache. Mon boss me donne mal à la tête. Not true. I love my boss. Peter! <laughs> so, next one is burn, brûlure. I burned myself. Je me suis brûlé. <laughs> I burned. <laughs> no. Mm. You can burn the food, brûler la nourriture. <laughs> But it's not a health concern, right? If you burn yourself, put it in ice. Si on se brûle, il faut mettre de la glace. So if you burn yourself, put ice on it. Something like that. Next one is nausea. Nausea. I drank too much and got nausea. J'ai trop bu et j'ai la nausée. Stop drinking like that, you get headaches and nausea. How bad is it? I ate something weird and got nausea. J'ai mangé quelque chose de bizarre et j'ai la nausée. Which shouldn't happen in French because we have fancy food that's delicious, so you shouldn't get nausea from it. Next. Blessé. To injure. To injure oneself. Se blesser. I injured my friend. J'ai blessé mon ami. Why would you do that? I stepped on my cat and injured it. J'ai marché sur mon chat et je l'ai blessé. Why would you step on your cat? You step on the dog, it's like... Mm. I step on my cat and it goes... <laughs> I, I hate that word. <laughs> Cough, cough, two, cough. I can pronounce that thing correctly. Cough. So, cough, 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 cough. Being like <coughs> having a cough, cough, <laughs> having a cough. Avoir de la toux or be coughing. Tousser. Coughing. Ooh, I got that right. Yeah. And in the end, I hope you take care of yourself and don't have to use those words. But if you do. Well, that's too bad. I'm sorry for you. Study subject. Sujet d'étude. You don't want to study. Which one is the first one? Chimie. Chemistry. Have you seen Breaking Bad? <laughs> It's science, people. So, chemistry. Where you mix fancy product together and it goes bah! To study chemistry. Étudier la chimie. I got 
C in chemistry because I blow the class up. J'ai eu un C en chimie parce que j'ai fait exploser la classe. I got A in chemistry because I blow the class up. Next one. Computer science. Informatique. In my time, computer science at school was so lame. Hey, let's learn to type stuff into WordPad. <laughs> Les cours d'informatique. Computer science lessons. To have a degree in computer science. Avoir une licence en informatique. Next one. Affaire. Business. Which in France can also be said as business. <laughs> les affaires sont les affaires. Business is business. Next one. Matt is the guy over here. Math. I like maths. J'aime les maths. I like maths as well. It's fun. <laughs> geography. Geography. If you watch the previous French word, you should have learned geography already. In geography, you learn about the earth. En géographie, on apprend des trucs sur la terre. Life event, anniversaire, birthday, it's my birthday, c'est mon anniversaire, happy birthday, joyeux anniversaire, happy birthday to you, joyeux anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire, poo, and be poo, I want cake, happy birthday everyone, if today is your birthday, happy birthday, then your life may be sad if you're spending your birthday learning in French with me, remise des diplômes, graduation, I never went to graduation, je ne suis jamais allé à la remise des diplômes. We don't really have graduation in France. Nous n'avons pas vraiment de remise des diplômes en France. Or maybe in university, but I don't know about it. Avoir un travail. Get a job. Why don't you get a job? Va chercher un boulot. Which is not really polite. <laughs> engage. Se fiancer. I'm never getting engaged. Je ne vais jamais me fiancer. Because it's useless. I don't need to get married or have children. I hate them. It's cute for other person, but I can't care take or something. <laughs> Mourir, to die. This is usually what happens when you retire. You just get bored and die. <laughs> This is sad. <laughs> My friend died the other day. Mon ami est mort l'autre jour. Housework. I had that. Let's start. First one is essuyer. To wipe. To wipe the dishes. So essuyer les assiettes. After you're done. Dishwashing. Or to wipe the floor. Essuyer le sol. There are plenty of things to wipe. Even your nose. You can wipe your nose. Yeah. Next one is... Laver. To wash. You've got plenty of stuff to wash again. You can wash the floor. Laver le sol. Or wash your clothes. Laver les vêtements. In French, you can wash your teeth. Se laver les dents. You can use either brush or wash. Aspirer. To vacuum. Or we also say... Passer l'aspirateur. So, to vacuum the carpet, aspirer les tapis, because they are so dusty. You mostly use passer l'aspirateur rather than aspirer. Aspirer is also like with a straw when you're drinking and you're like... This is also aspirer. Try breathing for air, you can be like... And this is also aspirer de l'air. Next one is balayer, to sweep. I hate sweeping. Je déteste balayer. It's a waste of time. Because my hair was in the way anyway. Uh, hair. Sweeping the floor. Balayer le sol. So, balayer les feuilles d'automne. To sweep the autumn leaves. <laughs> Next one. Ranger. To put away. Or to tidy. It also works. Like when you are tidying your room. Is ranger la chambre. So, the mom always be like, clean your room. Or tidy your room. It'll be like, range ta chambre. Ranger ses vêtements. To put away your clothes. So you fold them neatly and put them in your closet. This is rangé. At the hotel. So what do you do at the hotel? The first one is key. La clé. So getting your key. Uh, recevoir sa clé. So you go, you check in, you get your key. Yeah. Don't lose your key. Ne perdez pas vos clés. Or to open the door with the key. Ouvrir la porte avec la clé. Next one. Ah! <laughs> okay. Single bed. Un lit simple. So, single bed. Single bed are so tiny. Les lits simples sont tout petits. Mm, single bed for one person room. Un lit simple pour une chambre pour une personne. Yeah, even when I'm traveling by myself, I usually get double bed. Because it's the same price. And it's bigger and you can roll in it. Single bed is so small. Well, next one then is double bed. Lit double. Double bed are for two people. Les lits doubles sont pour deux personnes. Or for just one person, if you like myself and like to roll in your bed. 
Il est like me. I like double bed. J'aime les lits doubles. Next one. Occupé. No vacancy. There is no vacancy. L'hôtel est occupé. There are no room left. I had to sleep in my car because there was no vacancy. J'ai dû dormir dans ma voiture car l'hôtel était occupé. This is a sad thing. But sometimes it happens. <laughs> Next one. Clé électronique. Electronic key. Most of the hotels have them, right? And you just swipe your key. Fancy! This is an electronic key. But this one is not for a hotel. It's for my room. To swipe your electronic key. Passer sa carte électronique. So you swipe it in front of your door. Nya, nya, nya. Please enter. Electronic key. Clé électronique. In an airplane. I love airplanes. They go like... Dans un avion. In an airplane. Let's go. First word is... Airplane. <laughs> avion. I love airplane. J'aime les avions. Traveling by airplane. Voyager en avion. Airplane meals. Les repas dans l'avion. People say they don't like them, but I like airplane lunch. <laughs> First class. Yeah. Première classe. This is where you get the champagne. First class seats are wide. Les sièges de première classe sont larges. And they have a nice big TV. And they can bend the seat like that and sleep. I so want to travel first class once in my life. Next one. Hôtesse de l'air. Flight attendant. There is a comic in France about a flight attendant. It's called Natasha Hôtesse de l'air. And you can read it. It's cute and nice. And it's an adventure around the world of this flight attendant called Natasha. Go check it out. I wanted to be flight attendant. Je voulais être hôtesse de l'air. Flight attendants must like traveling. Les hôtesses de l'air doivent aimer voyager. What? Come on. Sick bag. But in French, it's so disgusting. It's called vomit bag. So sac vomitoire. Ou sac à vomi. This is disgusting. <coughs> Use a sick bag when throwing up. Utilisez un sac à vomi quand on vomit. I never seen people actually using them. Because flights are kind of comfortable now. Yes, yeah, sick bags. Next. Next one. What? Compartiment bagage au-dessus des sièges. Overhead storage compartment. You don't need the overhead part in French. Just compartiment. <laughs> Put your luggage in the luggage compartment. Mettre les bagages dans le compartiment à bagages. And be careful when you open the storage compartment because it can fall on your head. Faites attention quand vous ouvrez le compartiment à bagages car les bagages peuvent vous tomber sur la tête. Currency exchange. Let's start. First one is convertir to convert. Converting money. Convertir de l'argent. Foreign exchange. Devise étrangère. When you get to a new country, you should change your money in foreign exchange. Quand on arrive dans un nouveau pays, il faut changer sa monnaie en monnaie étrangère. You can order foreign exchange at your bank before going. On peut commander des devises étrangères à la banque avant de partir. Next one. US dollar. Dollar américain. Mudica. US dollar are green. Les dollars américains sont verts. Here you go. Yeah. US dollar. One buck. Having your first US dollar in your pocket is good luck. Avoir un, votre premier dollar dans la poche est un signe de chance. So, more of them will come. Next one. Currency. Devise. To buy currency. Acheter des devises. And then you can trade them and make more money. So, pièce. Coin. Let's flip a coin. And fail. <laughs> Lancer une pièce de monnaie. To flip a coin. Ooh. So, heads or tails. Tails, I'm sorry. You lose. Having many coins in your wallet. Avoir beaucoup de pièces dans son porte-monnaie. I'm so rich. Oui. Family. Woo, family. And the first word is grandmother. Whoops. Here you are. <laughs> grandmother. Grand-mère. Grandma's cooking. La cuisine de grand-mère. Or grandma's cookies. Les cookies de grand-mère. And then it's grandfather. Grand-père. We have this expression in French that if uh, clothing look for really old people, it's like, oh, you're wearing grandpa's clothing, or you look like a grandpa. Tu ressembles à un grand-père. To go fishing with your grandfather. Aller pêcher avec son grand-père. I'm envious of those people. Mère, mother, 
My mother is coming to see me next week. Ma mère vient me rendre visite la semaine prochaine. Let's do daughter and motherly stuff. Respect your mother. Respectez votre mère. Father. Père. My father's cooking is the best. Mon père fait la meilleure cuisine. Yeah. Father's Day. La fête des pères. Find something nice for your dad. Next one. Fille. Daughter. I'm a daughter. <laughs> I have two daughters. J'ai deux filles. I don't, I'm too young for that. And it's the end. <laughs> what about your family members? You can leave me a comment and check the word list. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Father and son going fishing, but you already did that with grandpa, so maybe you get tired of fishing. Mm -hmm.